A return to video game reviews. I haven't done a video game review in since I really first started my YouTube channel. My last full video game review was Dragon Age Inquisition. It's been a while since I did a game, and I'm glad to finally be back. So let's talk about this really time travel, timey wimey dash high school drama game. What are you doing here, Max? I wish I could rewind back all the way to this day and change everything. Oh my god. Life is Strange. Alright, so Life is Strange is a video game made by Square Enix, where they, they produce the game, and it's made by Dope Not Entertainment. So what this basically is, you play this character called Max. Max is a high school student, she's an artist, she takes uh, pictures with her camera. She's kind of a shy girl, nerdy little girl who she makes a lot of great sci-fi references. And she has a dream one day that the world's pretty much coming to the end, or her town's coming to an end. She finds out she has time travel powers. Okay, that's our that's the basic premise of this game. So what this game really was, it was one thing, it's kind of like a telltale game. Telltale game, you see, it was all, it's all about your decisions, your choices, and how it affects the world. That's basically this game as well. And one thing cool about this game was, if you didn't like a choice you made, you could go back in time, just a few seconds, because you couldn't time travel too much, and you could reverse the decision you had made. Let's talk about the character. Max is a really cool character. Then we have our punk friend, Chloe. Chloe is a cool character as well, and she's really what this game is all about. I don't really want to give too much away. There's like a multiple plot line to this game. First, there's a plot line of finding the girl called Rachel. She's been missing, and they don't know what's going on. And they think someone's killed her or not killed her to try to fight her. You think it's like these two people who killed the people or something, so you're going after them. And when you find out who it is, you're like, okay, I, I kind of saw it coming, to be perfectly honest. So the mystery aspect of that wasn't that great. But actually using your time trial powers to investigate a crime was actually pretty cool. You're playing like a little Sherlock Holmes. And in the, the last episode, you get into this like time traveling thing. And where one thing you always see in time travel movies is if you step on a butterfly, multiple butterflies appear. You, if you change one event, things are going to change. You have a... A moment in the game where you go back in time and change a huge event that happened in your life. And it completely changes how the world is. And she does this multiple times throughout the game. And it really, there's a character who, she keeps dying no matter what you do. And that's basically what it is. It was, so, the third season of Lost, where Charlie kept dying and dying. And Desmond tried to save him. And he's like, you die like all these times. And the universe just wants you to die. And that's kind of what this game was. You want to screw the town over, or you want to screw your friend over. And that's really what the game was. The game did a really good job of building up suspense. It looked really great, too. The, the graphics were really great. The gameplay, it's it's a point-and-click game. So, if you don't like point-and-click games, you're probably not going to like it. It's a story-developed game. I really liked it. The final, the one that I don't really care for was whenever you go into Max's head at the end, and it was like this little trippy little Matrix thing. I didn't really understand that part of it. So, I, I just didn't get why that was in the game because it was so good to that point. So, overall, I am going to give Life is Strange an A-. minus. If you play Life is Strange, what are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know. And if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and subscribe to see more. Tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy.